here uh, in the provider AWS section where we have to provide our access key and secret access key basically our credentials to log into that AWS account okay so we can log into that AWS okay. account it's very similar to how we get log into normally to AWS account just like let me go to the console of Amazon Web Service So here you can see I am logging to my AWS account. So in uh, while I am logging, I have to provide my credentials here. So uh, similarly, that credential you have to provide here in this section. So that Terraform can log in on your behalf to your AWS account to create the infrastructure. Uh, I have already made a video on this uh, that how you can create an EC2 instance using AWS Management Console. So I will provide that link in the description and you can find here in the I button as well as in the description. So let us see that how we can provide this credentials here. So before we move ahead, let me show you my AWS management console page. So suppose let me log into the UST1 region. You can use uh, your nearest region as well, uh, whatever region in which you are near to, you can use any region in which you want to provision your EC2 infrastructure or server. So I want to create my infrastructure yes. in the US region. So I'm just, I just selected it. So now go to the EC2 section. So now go to this instances. So as you can see, currently I don't have any instance in this region. So it isn't showing me nothing here. Uh, let's start creating and provisioning an EC2 instance in this US East one region. And let's see how we can do that. So we already informed uh, Terraform that we, we want to use AWS Cloud Provider. Uh, so basically what it does, what this uh, code perform does, it will download the AWS Provider file, right? Uh, basically Terraform can interact with any of the cloud service, right? We have seen mm -hmm. in this uh, that it can interact with A AWS, Azure, or GCP and anything else. So what the Terraform does, it just provide you a very small file. Uh, when you firstly download it, uh, where we downloaded it, at the C section in the program file sizes. Yeah. So yeah. if you look at this file, uh, it's of only 61 MB, right? But if they provide all the API interaction with the AWS, Azure, Kubernetes, then it will become a very big file. So what they have done, uh, they have break it down into a different, different file. So uh, whenever, just like I want to create only on the AWS, so I don't need API of Azure or Kubernetes right now, correct? I want to only want to interact with AWS only. So I mm -hmm. need only the API of AWS. Okay, so uh, when you mention it, uh, it will download it uh, when we run a Terraform init command, which we will see in the further section of the video. Mm, now go to this terminal and let us check here also that Terraform is running from here as well or not. So you can see VS Code has a very good feature that it has integrated terminal here. You can write code here as well and you can execute your command in this terminal as well. So it will be a very good to work in this VS code format. So if you just type command terraform version. So you can see uh, it's working fine and I'm getting the correct version here. Yeah. yeah, we are using the AWS provider. So we already copied this provider code. Now we have to uh, provide the credentials to it. So just go to this documentation. Just click on this documentation part and here you will find a section authentication and configuration. So one method is that in this provider section, uh, which we already see that in this provider section, we have to pass our credentials, right? 
so yeah. you can directly pass the credential uh, your that is your access key or secret access key but it is not recommended method especially in the case if you are working in an mnc or you are working on the production environment you should never pass your credentials in a file in a simple text format right mm -hmm. so what you can do uh, we will use another method uh, which is this shared config and credential file okay okay so uh, just copy this shared config uh, sh and uh, shared credential file and just click on this and just paste it so when you create your aws account you also get the access key and the secret access key which is basically your cli credential and uh, how you can register for it just go to your terminal and just type the command aws configure and double dash profile test okay okay we can name it anything yes yes right? you can name in your profile anything if you want to give it your name as well you can give it that this i give it as a test okay okay and uh, after that you can see it is asking for the aws access key so you have to provide your aws access key uh, so let me provide mine yeah so i just want to know one thing like how we can get the access key yeah yeah so you can get your access key whenever you create an aws account uh, it will ask you to give, if you want that programmatic access if you want to access the aws through cli then uh, it will provide you a programmatic access uh, for which aws gives you an access key or uh, secret access key so even if you want to just like you have created your aws account so if you want to get a new access key and uh, secret access key just go there and uh, just click on this security credential okay okay here you can see in the aws iam credential tab there is an option of create access key for cli sdk and api process so just click on this create access key and uh, uh, you can see the access key and the secret key access key is available and this is the only time you can see uh, your secret access key if you just uh, forget the secret access key then it will be uh, lost forever then you have to create another access key okay so it is better to download this csv file right now only because this is the only single time you can download this file later oh. you cannot download it okay so okay. let me just download it and just save it so it's a csv file basically an excel file you can open this in excel so that file contain your uh, both access key and secret access key yeah right so that file contain your access key and secret access key so from there you can copy your access key and secret access key and just paste it here okay just click on this and uh, paste your secret key as well i will blur my secret access key for the obvious reasons and just press enter uh, here in the default output form is so don't need to provide any input just press enter and you can see uh, that your profile will be created okay so how you can check that that your profile is correctly created or not what you can do you can just go to your c drive and uh, in the c drive go to your username and uh, that cost and here you can see uh, a dot aws folder will be created after you created that profile okay and uh, if yeah. this is not visible to you uh, you can just go to the this view section and uh, just check this hidden item as well because sometimes uh, windows automatically hides uh, the folders which start from the dot okay so just open this and here you can see two files one is for the configuration and uh, if you go to your credential file so here you can see in the test uh, profile section here is your access key and your secret access key right 
so it got correctly configured okay because aws will use these files to check your account okay this is how your aws credential got stored okay so okay. Uh, now you one question yes yes okay so uh, you are saying we have the the profile has been created okay so what does the profile mean here a uh, profile is nothing just uh, is your login credential this is how you log in using the cli command one way to log into aws account is using this management console right where i have to provide my uh, username and password another way to log into your aws account is using cli so to log into cli you have to pass your credential means uh, here you have to pass your access key and secret access key so okay. which i am providing here okay and that you have to provide to your terraform as well because terraform also want to log in on your behalf to create that ec2 server right yes yeah so uh, uh, just uh, now provide the path of this config and credential file so you can see i have changed my uh, config and credentials file location and uh, in the profile section as i created the test profile so just provide the test name okay so this is how i configured the uh, my login credential so that terraform can log in on my behalf to my account and it will create the ec2 instance in this account so okay, okay. so now what you have to do you have to remain in the, this same directory in which your file is saved and now you have to initialize the terraform by using the command terraform init so you can see it is initializing the backend and it is start installing the aws provider which we have provided here 4.8.0 okay so once it get installed i will show you that what exactly it has done uh so one thing mm -hmm. no can you hear me yes yes i am able to hear you yeah just yeah so uh to run the terraform is mm. it required that we should have a account in any of the one service provider yeah yeah uh, we on... should we must have an account of aws yeah yeah basically uh, we are just telling that we have full access to create uh, infrastructure on this account we are just providing the login credential okay and we are telling the terraform that uh, you can create uh, whatever i am telling you to create an infrastructure you can create on this account okay, okay. so here you can see uh, it has installed the hashicorp aws provider and it is also saying it is created a log file which is terraform.log.scl which i already explained in my previous video that uh, it has using state locking so it is that file as well and he, if you go to this terraform provider registry you can see there is an aws executable file right so as i told previously uh, that terraform doesn't download all the file when we first download it when we first download it from this download page it just download the basic 61 mb file right because uh, at that point of time we haven't tell terraform that i want to interact with aws or azure or anything else. one thing they can they can have done it they provide all the cloud providers api in a single file but uh, if they provide that then this file become a very large file okay in gb so uh, they provide a method uh, by which we can mention our provider on which we want to work you can mention here and it will download that api only that uh, provider only so you can see only the aws provider file got downloaded and uh, if you have included the azure provider then it will download uh, that as well okay okay so we have downloaded the aws provider and uh, now what we can do we can rename this file as a provider.tf okay that is for our convention only like yes, you can yes. name it as simple also okay yeah yeah uh, because uh, i have mentioned my provider information here so that's why i named this provider 